my kid did a craft. <laughs> Look at this jack-o'-lantern, first of the season. Super proud. I think Anthony nailed it. He this did one, a really good job. This one was for a youth group last night. I asked him, what is he going to do with this? He's like, I'm just going to leave it for decoration. Like, you realize it's the 29th of September. Not going to quite make it to Halloween. Uh, but you know what? You know who will love this? The chickens. For real. Over there. Not near our door. Well, I think it'll last a day or so. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on a couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos of every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. I'm As usual, burp. we are late. It's 4.25 and Anthony's over there going, Come on! We're Let's supposed to leave at four. So what do you got? Really quick. So okay, so real quick. Car. I am having one of those sausages to get myself going because I haven't been to sleep yet. But... I had to get a bunch of videos edited, and these new mugs are up on the yeah, website yeah. now. Just a fair warning, we only have 12 of each style, and two of them are already sold, and you and I already spoke for this one and your Starlight one, so okay. there's only 11 left of those. I've got some of Maria Emmerich Protein Sparing Bread. I've got a bunch of these sausages that I've kind of like heated up in the air fryer, so they'd be cold, but they're nice and crispy. I got a dozen hard-boiled eggs, and I got some carnivore crust. So we are ready. We got into this one. Somebody got into the brisket again. I don't know who got that. Who could that be? I have round and beef top sirloin. I have round, I personally think, is the best one. I like brisket. And it's one of the most inexpensive ones. So we're going to stop. We're going to get some ice. When we get gas, we're going to put this in the car. But we got to get on the road. And... Don't forget that when you see this, if you're seeing this on Friday, Friday, that tomorrow, Saturday, which is October 2nd, is going to be our Patreon and our channel member Zoom call. The link is in the post for the channel members if you're the higher up channel member, part of the 2KK family channel member, as well as for all patreon members and we're really excited about doing it on zoom this month zoom 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 okay we're heading to universal studios we'll check in with you throughout the day and you can see what we're gonna eat when we're on the road going to halloween horror nights 2021 we made it we made it we actually filmed something in the car but i wasn't sure if it got picked up because i felt like a bunch of glare so we parked in valet but we have to go pick our car back up. Oh, wow, look at that glare. Go like this. So we have to pick our car back up before 7 o'clock and then move it over to the other parking lot because we don't get free valet for special events. But we got to go find a hotel anyway, so I figure we'll pick it up, we'll go find a hotel, and then go back and park again. So now what I have to do is figure out what am I going to buy for Rachel in secret. Every time we come to Universal Studios, when she goes to the restroom, I go and buy her a little something to help us remember each trip when we come up here. And she never likes it because she doesn't want me to spend money on her. But I like to give her just a little something. It doesn't have to be something super expensive, but just a little something so when she sees it laying around the house, she can go, I remember that trip. So I'm going to have to look. Usually I can figure out what it is is because she will see something and be like, Oh, I really like that, but it's too expensive. And then I know what to go look for. Oh my gosh, we have this place to ourselves. It is like dead. So something that I have noticed, and I was just talking to Anthony about, is I did not realize that we have a lot of just traditions when we go to an amusement park that's like muscle memory. So I don't often drink Diet Coke. Right. But I immediately was like, where is our glass? Because I'm used to... Yeah, we to, have that the glass that we can just get free refills. I'm used to drinking Diet Coke here. Right. And I immediately was like, wait a second. And Joe was like, well, we don't even need it because we can't drink it. And I was like, oh, wow. I'm used to 
having a zip fizz at a certain mile marker on the road. Right. And, and it's just interesting that this is the first time that I'm like realizing there's a lot of stuff we do and don't even think about it because it's like tradition. I'm used to a fort drum cup of coffee. Yep. But I couldn't have that because I'd already had my one cup of coffee today. There's some cool Beetlejuice stuff. Never trust the living. I love Beetlejuice. Oh, that's a cool hat. That's a picture. It's like a costume. You should get the Beetlejuice tights. Wow. That is actually not that bad for bucks that mask. 70 for like a really nice mask. Let us know down in the comment section how many people love the movie Beetlejuice. Personally, I think it's Michael Keaton's best movie. Rachel. You don't want to wait for the dragon? My nemesis. So there's lots of scary little vignettes all through the park. A lot of them are covered up for daytime, so you're not right. seeing everything. But I'm kind of, you know, taking it in what's scary, what's going to be the scary area. We just got off of Rip Ride and Rocket. This reminds me of when the kids were little. That was the scariest ride for me because Anthony was so tiny. You were afraid he was going to fall out I of the ride. I was always afraid that he was going to fall out of the ride. He didn't fall out. I got completely soaked on Jurassic Park. This is that moment that you're like, yep, I should have gone with the shorts, not the jeans. So I think we picked the perfect restaurant for everyone, and that is Texas Day Brazil because we can get unlimited meat and Anthony has access to all of the sides, but it's kind of funny. They bring you so many potato sides because they're trying to get you filled up. Yeah. Anthony's never been here either, so this is kind of cool for him. And, and come, he likes to eat. Come at lunch because it's so much cheaper. So we got here some rare sirloin, some bacon bits, pork and beef sausage, and a pork tenderloin. And we're gonna keep going. We're just gonna keep eating. Hopefully they're gonna bring us some of the good fatty meat like the ribeye. Dude, this place is awesome. And what a deal. Yeah, so it's normally like $200 a night, but as a Universal Studios annual pass holder, it was $88 plus tax. So it cost us 100 bucks for the night. But it's like, this is the upgrade room. They actually had a regular just with the queen bed. And that room was $69, but you paid 20 bucks more. You have two queen beds here with this little like dinette area. And then in here, we have another private bedroom with another queen bed, and then one bathroom right here. I love this beachy feel to this little kitchenette area. And are we gonna talk about a picnic bench as a dining room table? That's pretty cool. That could actually really work, right? How cute, I'm very impressed. So Rachel out ate everybody at Texas Day Brazil. Champion. You're the champion. Undefeated. Within our family, undefeated. Now, I really haven't been to bed. So yet. we're going to take a little nap because you have a combination of no sleep and like protein coma. Yes. So I'm ready for the protein coma for a couple hours because Halloween Horror Nights doesn't start for three and a half hours. And the park was so dead. We literally went on every Everything. single ride. We got here after 8 o'clock. I think we pulled in a parking lot at 8. They opened up at 7. We went on Velocicoaster twice. twice. And just when they opened that, which was just a couple months ago, the line was like 8 hours long. Yeah. So we were able to get on there twice with a 15-minute wait. Actually, they say 15 minutes, but I think it was 15 minutes from the time you walk into the turnstile. Like... Not 15 minutes of actual waiting. You always want to under-promise and over-deliver. Yeah. So if I am thinking it's going to be a 10-minute line and it's a 4-minute line, you're awesome. Yeah, the guy was actually telling us the whole reason they even invented Halloween Horror Nights is because September is like the slowest time of the year, September and October for the theme parks. Business. So they created this to get people to come to the park. Hey, as And it was dead. As South Floridians, I would say your best bet of having a great vacation come is to right come now. September, October. Don't tell them that we're here right now. Well, it's not as hot. And mm -hmm. there's certainly not the crowds. I'm all about the pictures over there. Those are really cool. Super cute. So, uh, yeah, we're going to just kind of relax for a little while. And I don't know if we're going to eat anymore. But if oh. we want to eat, 
We have some of the bread, we have sausages, we have some carnivore crust, and we have hard boiled eggs. Good morning. It's not good morning. <laughs> Just kidding. It's seven o'clock at night. This is sunset light, but it, it feels like morning light. And well, we took a nap. It feels like morning light because we just woke up. Yeah, I can't think of the last time we took a nap in the middle of the day, let alone on a vacation. Never on vacation, which makes no sense. But usually we are just trying so hard to get everything in right. that if we feel like if we're missing out if we're not at the fun park. And then we come back and edit videos to try to document it all. So we actually rested today and we got in both parks Every single ride, even the new ones, it was a great day. It was to fun. Go. And then, you know, we went to Texas Day Brazil, which was $30 a piece. But here was my thinking with Texas Day Brazil. We were thinking about, okay, where could we go? Eating in the park, we don't ever do that. It's just too expensive. A lot of times we would go outside of the park and eat in like what they have is called City Walk because they have like Moe's and stuff like that there. Mm -hmm. And it's like nine bucks to go to Moe's. But we couldn't do that because... Lettuce and... Like lettuce and, and the stuff that they're going to give you. Chicken so even. I started thinking about, okay, well, we can go to a barbecue place for 20 bucks and maybe get a pound of brisket where this is going to be all the food we're going to eat for the day. Or we could spend 30 bucks and go to Texas de Brazil, let Anthony experience it because he's never been there before, and just load up on beef. It actually helped us to get the full value out of it, this challenge, because we weren't eating the distraction meat, is what I call them, when it's like, you know, a bacon wrapped chicken right. when there's when there's steak on the menu. Because right. they're trying to be like, Hey, do you want these cheaper cuts of meat? And we we're like, Oh no, sorry, we're on a challenge. We can't right. we can't eat the crap stuff. Like we have to eat the very expensive things. So we weren't going out like, up to the salad bar and loading up on cheese the way we normally would yeah. and getting all the eggs. We were literally just eating beef and pork. And it was really good. Now we do have some eggs and some sausages here. So if we want to eat something when we get back from the park uh, we'll be able to do that. And I was even trying to figure out, like, okay, so this completely just threw off our budget for the week because we were documenting, like, how much money are we going to spend for the week? Yeah. But still, okay, yes, we spend 60 bucks for the two of us to go out to eat for lunch slash dinner. That's all of our food. But yesterday, it was, like, $6. So right. it, it kind of is going to average out. And I think a lot of families do – have maybe one day a week or one day every other week where they go out to eat. We generally don't go out to eat unless somebody's right. giving us a gift card for our birthday or our anniversary. But we know like a that. lot of families that, that Friday is their, you know, date night and they go out for a fancy dinner. But like you're saying too, if you split it up, yes, it was $30, but it was $15 a meal. That's right. not horrifying right. prices. And even there, you know, 60 bucks for the two of us to go out to eat. I know that we have gone to Texas Roadhouse and spent more than that because by the time you get all your sides, we're spending 60 bucks on just meat as opposed to going someplace and spending $60 on, well, we're going to get a burger, then we're going to get some wings as an appetizer, then we're going to get a soda, and the next thing you know, the bill's 100 bucks. Well, I came into today being like, the treat is getting to spend time with my son and right. my husband. Like, that was what I was really, you know, excited about. But honestly, I was consoling myself in advance about what we were going to eat. I thought, okay, on this challenge, all I'm going to be able to have is a hamburger patty. Right. I'm not even going to be able to have the lettuce and tomato when you take the bun off right. of, of food. So this was a great day because I feel like I had an anniversary meal during a challenge day. Yeah. I felt like I was on vacation and really had a good time. And it was less than two miles from the park. Mm -hmm. So just get in your car, Uber over, you know, to a restaurant, you'll save money ultimately, and you'll get a lot more food. Oh, absolutely. So it's a little bit after seven o'clock. We are going to actually go over to the park now to experience the Halloween Horror Nights, but we're not going into like all of the houses and stuff. Anthony wants to kind of see the decorations. The ticket is free. We would never go except for the fact that they gave us the ticket for free. Right. And came with our pass. Anthony wants to try some of the different, they have like, you know, themed kind of foods, which a lot of it you could eat if you're on keto, except for we're not keto right now. We are beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Well, even pre-keto, we used to always, I mean, and even now I enjoy the art 
of people making fun, pretty themed out food, like the Halloween cupcake wars and right. that sort of stuff. We never made them after no. the show. We just, we just thought it was, it was awesome to see it. So I feel like this is an opportunity for us to get up close, you know, behind the scenes at one of those show type things where here is the theme. All right, now make something, you know, around... Friday the 13th. Yeah. It's kind of cool. So the Hotel Wars thing is actually connected to Universal Studios. And as an annual pass holder, we got like 50% off the rate. So it's really nice. You know, it was like 90 bucks plus tax. Pretty reasonable. And, you know, you have two bedrooms. There's two queen size beds out there and one queen in here. So they have bus service that goes over. So we're not even going to bring our car. There's just no point in bringing the car. I won't have to drive or anything. So we're going to head on over there now. We may or may not close out today's vlog tonight. We'll see how we feel when we get back. If we don't do it tonight, we will do it first thing in the morning and then yeah. start tomorrow's vlog. gonna go on the mummy and it's a 35 minute wait and i said it's not worth 35 minute wait for a ride we ride all the time that's inside so you're not getting a different experience it's completely worth it to me because it is keeping me out of the street where all the scary people are coming up and approaching you well guess what we're going on single rider so we'll be out of here in five minutes i am married to a landscaper i should not be this uncomfortable with chainsaw noises Unknowing me because he had like a bald head and I thought it was like you and he was all dressed up but he didn't notice me so I was like so thankful because he would have got me hard.
long as you're staying on the street, they don't get you too badly. Don't you think this is pretty at night? Yeah. I mean, the dragon's not going to, the to do anything. The dragon never works when Rachel is in Universal Studios. If you want to see the dragon, you don't want to go with me to Universal Studios. So know. tell me your name. Steve. Steve. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'll remember that. My brother's name is Steve. Oh, okay. So All tell right. us, how did you find Keto? Well, actually, it's something we thought about a lot and tried it once back when it was just Atkins and it didn't work so well. Right. Uh, and then we started watching some YouTube, trying to figure out some ideas on how to lose some weight, get into better shape. Ran across you guys and a couple other channels, started watching, got some ideas. We eat that pizza. Yeah, pizza is one of our favorite things. That is wow. so awesome. That's the one you did. Yeah. Is this so. your first Halloween Horror Nights? It is. In mine too. How, oh, okay. how are you doing with it? We've already done all 10 houses. We oh did my the express. God. We're not doing the houses. Oh, yeah, wow. we did all 10 houses, all the scare zones. We're uh, actually buying some merch and we we're actually going to head. We live locally. Have so. you done the, the show down by where Fear Factor we didn't, was? We didn't do the show. It's really good. That yeah, one, that the fire one good. was really good. All the way yeah. down by where Did anything get guess. you? Did anything oh, scare sure. you? Yeah. Like, what, what was well, the thing? Well, chainsaw. Was chainsaw. Yeah. Was, yeah. Just yeah. the chainsaw. sound yeah. makes yeah, you Yeah, different. Like, and the smell gets you into that right yeah. now. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's so nice. You never know who you're going to run into at Halloween Horror Nights, right? Yeah, that's the awesome. To meet you too. They actually have stuff over there that is keto, including what Anthony's eating, except for the bread. You can get it without the bread. But they have jalapeno poppers. But oh. get this. They have fake meat Reuben sandwiches. What is the point of that? I don't understand it. And I'd like to know how you're faking brisket. You're not. Well, the party is still going, but it is technically a brand new day. It is midnight. It is midnight. So we're going to end the vlog here. There is no tired like theme park tired. I know, I feel it all over my body, but it's a happy tired. No, we had a great time. You know what's cool? Like, you know, we're not into like a lot of like the like really scary haunted houses. We just enjoyed like the shows, the fire show, the water show. It was wonderful. And just seeing everything at night. Cause normally we don't come to Universal Studios at night because we live in Florida. We usually drive up and drive home on the same day. Yeah, so, this so we is a usually treat. yeah hit all the rides and we're back on the road home usually by six o'clock. So we're never here at night. So it was cool to see everything lit up at night. We had a good time with Anthony. Um, last I checked on my watch, I walked over 15 miles. Yeah, I was Where say, are you at? Just... We should be pretty close to the same, oh, right? It is 15, but guess what? It's a new day. So I'm one mile into the next day. Nice. It. So definitely worked off that Texas Day Brazil. Yep. We're going to go back to the hotel. We're going to crash. And then we're going to get up in the morning. Whenever we get up in the morning, I'm going to say probably around 8 o'clock or whatever. We'll get on the road, get back home. Hopefully I can get this vlog edited for you guys to see it on Friday. And then we have to leave for our football game by 5.30. Yeah. So it's a good day. It's a great day. Now let us know down in the comment section, have you ever been to Universal Studios Florida or California? Have you ever been to Halloween Horror Nights? This was the first time and I have a feeling Rachel's last time. Well, we didn't go into any of the haunted houses. That's not we for us. We stayed in the main area because yeah, I don't think I could have handled it. No, so let us know all that stuff. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we go on an adventure, you'll be alerted to it. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.